hey, okay, I'm glad you're here. Um, stopped in to, well, I stopped in. I'm glad you stopped in. But I'm just going to talk this week about, today, about uh, what sold on eBay on for the third week of October from the 15th to the 21st of 2016. And, um, it was alright. It was, it wasn't, wasn't that bad a week. It was, it was alright. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I'm just gonna get started. Uh, I don't really have anything particular. If you notice, I sound funny. I, I don't know if it's allergies or what I got today. Something was going on. It took me right out. I had to take some, I had to take some day cools and go to bed for like three hours because I was, I was just, I was just, I couldn't stop sneezing and my, you know, it was like, kind of like allergies or some kind of cold or something, but, I usually don't get them, but, uh, yeah, something had me today. It could be that I finally got working on, my wife and I actually got working on those, uh, remember that big giant lot of videotapes I bought at that yard sale, uh, back in the summertime? That's, uh, we will actually, we got working on those, uh, last night and today. And, uh, so it could be a lot, a lot of dust or something in the air that's getting the dust in me. So if you notice something funny, you know, that's probably, that's probably what it is. And, uh, okay, so, let's see, the first thing that we sold this week was on, the was on the 15th, October 15th, and this is just a, it's called floor line, I don't know if I have a picture here of the bottom, yeah, floor line, there you go, you can see the bottom of it, it's just a, a little, uh, planter, you know, and, uh, I got this at, I'm pretty sure I got this at the niche, but, um, Probably in a bag sale, and I got that I paid fifty cents for it. I listed this back in April, April twenty fifth, and sold on the fifteenth. Um, floor line is is a McCoy mark, so if you're if you're not familiar with pottery, uh, floor line was made by McCoy. So um, now you know. It's just this you know swirl pattern. It wasn't really I didn't think it was that great um, when I picked it up, but the price was right. So and then I just priced it high. Price it for nineteen ninety five, which is high for this piece. It's only, it was only like maybe uh, let's see, um, it was only four and a quarter inches high. So it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like it was anything spectacular, but um, it wasn't a big piece. It's not overly, it's not overly showy or anything like that. It's but it's just a nice piece of uh, pottery history there. So uh, and these they used to be really good. I was. Uh, and I was actually really pleasantly surprised that I got 19.95 for it. So plus shipping, so that was cool. So, all right, next. And uh, this I picked this up at a Goodwill. I actually uh, this went all the way through the um, went all the way through the things, went all the way to the, the final clearance. So I got this for 35 cents, and I listed this on October. Actually, I listed it on October 13th. And I sold it October 15th. It only was up for two days. And I got 19.95, which was pretty much, I'm pretty sure, was a higher price than what other people had, for the most part, sold them for. So, uh, you could probably look it up now and see where the sold prices are on these things. And you'll probably see that I'm, I was one of the highest ones. So, uh, you'll notice that. And it was only two days. So, it was cool. Next. I was willing to let it last months, but two days is good. So, next. Come on, there we go. This is the second pair of these that I've sold. Both times I sold them a, hot, a lot higher than what other people were selling them for. But no, I won't say higher, but um, on the high end of what they were selling for. So this did not have the piece in it, the receiver in it. So whoever's buying these, I'm assuming already had a receiver. So uh, anyway, I paid I paid five bucks for these, and I listed them September twenty third. Sold them on October 15th, and I, and I got the 30 bucks plus shipping. So, sweet. Next. Uh, this is just some uh, blank sets. They were sealed. I picked them up the niche in the free pile out front. And, uh, you know, I only, I, I actually sold them for, uh, let's see, I listed them on, I listed them October 14th, and I sold them October 15th. So, yeah, but I only got $7.99 for them. It, it does they're not like I don't they're real great or anything like that, but um and that was free shipping. So I didn't the shipping on them was probably three something, so I didn't really make a whole lot, but uh 
it's just a challenge when something's free. I just have this challenge thing that I have to go through to try to sell it. So I did. Next. I had this listed for a while. This is just, it's Ohio Art. Um, it's a toy company. And uh, I really like toys. I, something tells me I really need to be paying more attention to, to trying to list more toys. Um, I have so much stuff now that it would be forever before I can get back, get down to the place where where I can actually focus on on some kind of a uh, an item that I want to uh, I want to deal with. So, um, but I'm really leaning heavily toward toys. But anyway, I paid 99 cents for this, a dollar. Um, I listed this January 17th this year. I sold it on the 16th of October, and I got 14 14.95. Yeah, fourteen ninety five plus shipping on it. So I'm not sure if it was on sale. They may have been. Or if they just offered me fourteen usually they don't offer you fourteen ninety five, but they did, so okay. Next. So I don't know if it was the best offer or what. So next. And this is a Skeletrix uh Mini Cooper slot car. Yeah, you know, I used to pass these up at yard sales all the time because they're new. You know, to me they were new because when I think of slot cars, I'm thinking you know, a totally different kind of slot car. I'm thinking, you know, the little metal peg in the bottom and the, the contacts that had the spring that would go up and down and, you know, the old, the old Tyco ones and, and the, the Lionel and, and uh, Aurora. You know, that's what I think of when I think of slot cars, you know, and I think of old ones. But really, this thing's from the 90s. So it's really, you know, 20, 20 years old, you know. So, um, which is really, it's, it's just that's hard for me to think of something from the 90s as being old, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, I what I paid for I bought I bought uh, this is basically I bought a big a big plastic tote, um, which was full of this the 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 this race car track that this was that the it was the John Cooper Challenge or what, something like that is what it was called, um, but uh, it was full of all the all the parts, and I paid. $4.99 for the whole that whole thing. So this one I broke it all down into I broke it down into different lots of things. So like the, the cars I sold I'm selling separately and then you know certain pieces of track I'm selling separate different things I'm selling separately. So basically I broke it down to uh each each lot that I listed was sixty five cents. So I just split it up evenly. So sixty five cents is what I paid for it. Um I listed it on the twelfth of October and sold it on the 16th of October and I got 15.95 plus shipping so sweet Okay, and most of the decal cloth maybe that's not so bad Most of the sometimes I you know I'll, I got a Keurig so I'll take a little a little Keurig filter and Fill it up with high test But I'm trying to keep that down because that that those Caffeine headaches when you don't, when you can't get a cup of coffee or something. Just, I'm not playing that game no more. So, okay, next. Uh, this was in the garage, um, in a box, a box of stuff that I just decided to bring in when I was cleaning it out. I brought some, some stuff in and this was one of the pieces that was out there. It's just an old, um, I don't know if you can see if it'll give me the, it's, yeah, it's just an old, like tire, like tire patch kit, and it had bits and pieces of tire stuff in it. You know, big rubber, and there's there's more in there too. And so there's all that stuff. And the actual scraper, the thing that rubs up the the rubber was was uh, of course the glue was in there, but it was rock hard. So that's, you know, this you know I don't I don't know when this was from. It, you know, I'm looking at seeing that bike with those with those handlebars. You're looking at probably. 70s, most likely, probably from the 70s. Let's see if I have it in the, in the thing here. I did look it up. No, this says early 80s, but and it could be. It could be. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, I didn't pay anything for it. I don't think. As far as I know, I didn't pay anything for it. I listed this on September 1st. I sold it on October 16th, I got, I only got $7 free shipping, so, but it was really light. It sold, it shipped for like 260 so I didn't make much on it, but, again, it was one of those things that was in the garage that I kind of took as a challenge, so, it's out of here. Next. And this was, uh, like, like it says, it's a, just a Toro, 
wheel horse drive belt and um these are expensive to buy i mean if you go to buy them it could be a lot more than that so i got it i got it actually a goodwill for five bucks and uh listed it on july 20th i thought it would have sold a lot sooner but um not till october 16th it, odd that it sold in the fall but i forget where it went to it it might have gone someplace where the well, fall is not as big a deal. You know, if it was a Florida or somewhere like that where you all got to cut the grass year round. Um, except when the hurricane comes in. But anyway, I, I did get 35 bucks free shipping, so that was sweet. Um, yeah, next. This was a sweet, this was really sweet. I was really happy uh, with this. I don't know if I had told you when I brought this in the house and I might have showed it on a haul video but it kind of smelled of smoke and I kind of left it sit outside for a little bit try to air some of it out and everything but uh it's, yeah, it's just a zip it's an old zip drive and, and a bunch of those uh bunch of those carts for it um it did work I tried it on my on my laptop and it, and it worked so that was pretty neat um I paid and see, I got a, I got a half off, so because I, I used a half off card, but it was they wanted twenty bucks for it when I when I bought it. I paid I paid ten for it because I got a half off. I listed it on October eleventh, and I sold it on October seventeenth. I got seventy bucks plus shipping, so I was happy. I had it listed for one hundred and fifteen, but hey, you know, five bucks to seventy bucks, I'm in. So okay, next, and here's the phones. I don't know if I showed these in a in a haul video or not. Maybe in an unhaul. I did. I have talked about these a little bit before. I picked these up at the Goodwill, and um, I forget what they originally had on them. I think three or four dollars a piece they had on them, or something like that. And then I ended up getting them like when they were like half off or, or even lower than that. Um, all together, I paid eleven fifty for for all of them. So. And I listed these on October 11th. I sold them on October 17th. I got 100 bucks plus shipping. So, and the shipping was not 18.50 like it shows right here. The shipping, they actually went to like Idaho, so the shipping was like 63 dollars, or something like that. It was it was quite a bit. So, um, yeah, but out of here. So, and next, this is a food processor, shredder, slicer. Uh, customer got it. I sold it for what I get. Um, I paid about like 50 cents for it. I've had it a long time. I listed it last year, actually on uh, October 23rd last year, 2015, and I sold it October 17th this year. For, I got I took 8.99 with free shipping for it. it. You know, it was only 2.60 to ship, but you know, the customer got it, and apparently it didn't fit their machine. But I didn't have. I just kind of went by measurements and stuff on this thing because I didn't know what it went for. So um, I, they left me positive feedback. They asked to return it, which is really cool because you know it's not my fault as a seller that that they weren't sure. You know, we could have done some measurements and things to try to figure it out better. But um, yeah, I kind of feel bad that it didn't fit a machine, but it's the way it goes. So next. Stitcher's Revolution. I paid 50 cents a piece for these when I bought them at Walmart. Uh, they listed really quickly, really, really fast. So, had to do over again. I don't think I would. I sell them one or two every month or two. You know, it just depends. Uh, they're just they're like iron-on embroidery things. I don't know how all that stuff works. I'm not a crafty kind of guy. But uh, I listed these actually last year, October 29th last year, and I've been selling them off, you know, a little bit at a time. And this one sold on the 17th of October, and I got six dollars free shipping, which was 260. So you know how that goes. It's just one of those things. But um, yeah. So that's that. Next, Inspector Gadget. Dun, 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 dun. Pay 50 cents at Goodwill. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Um, listed him on August 25th, and I sold him on the 18th of October, and I got nine dollars free shipping. So, sweet. Next, Captain America. Bought these shirts at Walmart a while back. 
for a buck a piece. I think last year sometime. Listed this on October 23rd last year. Sold it on October 18th, and I got I got the 10 bucks for shipping. So um, next. This was a, a pretty good deal. Um, Kenmore Power Made Junior, just that 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 attachment, that head, and I got this in a, a bag lot at the niche. It was, I think it was two dollars a bag or something like that. I paid forty, like so. I ended up paying like really like forty three cents for this thing, and it, it was new. It was never used. It was in the original uh, like wrapper and stuff. So, um, I listed it on October first. Sold it on October eighteenth. And it was on sale. I got twenty-seven dollars and ninety-six cents with free shipping, and the shipping wasn't bad. It went through. I think it was one. One. I might have sent. I think I sent it in a uh, per uh, padded flat rate envelope. So um, whatever that was to ship that five something, five ninety, five ninety. So okay. Next, let's see. Oops, I think I went too far. What's after that one? Yeah, I went too far. But this one right here. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, this is an ashtray. I picked this up. Where did I get this? Uh, $1.29, so I got it at Goodwill. I spent $1.29 for this at Goodwill. It did have a tiny little flake on it. Here you can see right there. It's not, just. it's just a little flake. It wasn't actually chipped, chipped. Just the paint just kind of flaked off. But it's an old Royal, uh, Royal Hagar. It, it was only, let's see, maybe six, seven inches long. It wasn't very big. Okay, it was eight inches long. So, and it was low profile. So, I mean, it's just an ashtray. But it was really neat looking. So, um, I picked it up. Dollar 29. It's just a neat thing to try to sell. And listed it on October 2nd, sold it on October 18th, and I got 16.95 free shipping. So, it did go priority. Um, but it was like under a pound, something like that. So uh, maybe just over. But it was cheap. So next. Uh, okay, what's this? Okay, that's bad. All right, now we go here. And it should be, is that right? Yep, Corningware. Uh, two yellow bowls. This stuff, uh, this stuff I got at a bag sale at Niche. So I paid like 36 cents each. For all the, all the different pieces that I got, and I made well these these two I listed the I listed the whole thing uh, July 27th this year, and I sold the, these two on the 19th of October, and I got I only got twelve dollars and seventy nine cents plus shipping on these, so you know I, it's kind of a bear to to package this kind of stuff because you got to I got to use a lot of bubble wrap and stuff like that, so it's not just the cost of postage on that, it's also the expense of the bubble wrap. The bubble wrap and stuff, but that bag that I bought that had these in it, and I, there's a lot of other stuff in there too, but in in that bag, but um, so 36 cents each for these things, and all together on this on this yellow stuff so far, according and I just sold another piece, another couple of pieces of this for for decent cash too, but uh, all together I've made um 80 bucks. 80 bucks on on that bag from just this yellow stuff, so that was, that was pretty cool. And it was just bowls and uh, yeah, I don't know if you went back in, in my store, you could probably still see them. Some of them, yeah, they're, they're I think they're all in my videos you've seen. So salt and pepper shakers and bowls and uh, plates and I forget else what else there was. I forget what else there was. But anyway, yeah, it was yeah, it's been a good deal. I mean, that's that's from pretty, that was pretty cool. So, and next, and how did I know about them? I I looked them up when I was. They were cheap, you know what I mean. So, but still, I looked them up. So, next, this came from a Goodwill. It is just a it's just a just a power adapter, just a charger for power wheels, and. uh Let's see. I paid three ninety nine for this at the Goodwill, and I I see. I listed it on September twenty seventh. Sold it on the nineteenth of October, and I got thirty dollars free shipping. So sweet. 
And that was definitely priced higher than pretty much everybody else. So, but there was history on it. So, there, you know, there was history that it was selling. There weren't a whole lot of them. And so, I mean, it, it, you know, there was history. So, okay, next. And I'm, I'm not one of those guys that doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't disbelieve that people, you know, if somebody sold something, if I go into completed listings and, and I say to myself, well, all these people who sold them for the higher prices, they, they didn't, we don't, I don't, I don't go in there and say, well, I don't know that they actually got that one. I don't know that they actually got it. I don't go in there and I don't go in and look. I don't. I don't play conspiracies. That, you know. Now listen. If somebody sells a black diamond videotape for fifty thousand dollars, that that's another story. <laughs> yeah, that I'm I'm gonna tend to disbelieve. But but something like this, you know, and other stuff, you know, if, if somebody got fifty bucks for it, I, I would have believed it. I, I just would have believed it because people want it, they need it, and that's the only one they found, or that's the one they saw, and they just bought it, and that's that. And it has a lot to do with pictures. It has a lot to do with that little top rated plus seal that you see up there it has a lot to do with that people people like to see that stuff you know the free shipping i think has a lot to do with it different things like that i mean there's there's reasons why people are willing to pay more sometimes it's just like with amazon people talk about how how you know how you can sell stuff better on amazon because it is a little more trusted name i, I think than um is what the what the reasoning that they use for it is, is although I mean, you and I both know that, that just because you buy something from Amazon doesn't mean you're going to get what you think you're getting. Uh, people think something's new and it's been used or the package has been opened or it's busted up or, or whatever and they still put it as new because it's new to them, I guess. I don't know. But um, Amazon just has that. So they get better prices on a lot of stuff, but not on everything because I've sold stuff on eBay that I looked it up on Amazon and the prices were tanked and I turn around and put it on eBay and I sold it for more than they were selling for on Amazon. So, but I think I'm about done with Amazon. So, at least for now, anyway. I don't, I don't like com companies that are mean to their sellers. And what it seems like is that Amazon is really being mean to their sellers. So, um, that's the way I look at it. I don't, I don't think it's right. So, anyway, that's my, if that's my problem. No, that's just my problem. That's one of my little things. Anyway, yeah, I actually I got um, what did I get for this? I didn't get twenty nine ninety nine. That's the next thing. I got twenty three ninety nine. Okay, I got twenty three ninety nine free shipping, so I didn't get thirty bucks. I think it's because it was on sale. I got a sale going. So all right, next. This is what I got twenty nine ninety nine for. Um, this was in that. The pile of books I told you about, the car manuals and the, the repair manuals that I pulled, pulled out of the garage that have been sitting out there. And I said I had like 300 bucks for the, I think it's over $300 now, the, of items that I've sold out of that. This was one of the first things that, that sold, I think. Second thing, maybe. It sold out of that. Or third, I forget. I don't remember if I sold. But anyway, this actually went to a guy, I think it was in Australia. And he had a 1960 beetle and this is for a 66 but he wanted it so um yeah but he, you, know, he, you know he what did he pay he paid he paid 30 bucks and uh shipped to first class i think i did i shipped it to him first class so um yeah and so i really didn't pay anything for it because it came out of a, a clean out i think i think or i don't remember what i paid for him because I don't know if it was a clean out. I don't think it was a clean out. I think I actually, I think I got them at a at a auction years and years, like eight years ago or something. It's a long time ago. But anyway, yeah. So they didn't last but you know, six days and they were sold. So okay, next. These are some iron-on patches. I got these at Walmart. The same time I got those those uh, those embroidered stitchery things. I got these. They had, a good, they had some good sales going on, uh, parent sales going on. So I picked up a bunch of these. I paid fifty cents each for these. That's a buck fifty right there. Um, I made a lot of money on the. Uh, actually, there was some Wonder Woman bigger. These are smaller. These are like I don't know, I think maybe two inches. And the Wonder Woman ones were big. I sold all the Wonder Woman ones out. 
a long time ago. I made I made a lot of money on the Wonder Woman ones. Well, tripled. More, well, no, I paid fifty cents a piece for those Wonder Woman ones, and I sold them for uh, I think it was fifteen bucks a piece, something like that. So yeah. Anyway, uh, these. Let's see. Uh, so I paid a buck fifty for the three. Listed these October 29th last year. They haven't been a big seller. So I sold these on October 19th this year. I got $11.96 plus, plus shipping. And it was first class. So, okay. Next. This is a book set around here for a while. Uh, Hayden and Cornos, I think is what it was. I don't, I'm not really sure what that is. No, John Cornos and looks like Hiram, Hiram Hayden. Ah, anyway. Uh, hmm. So I paid a quarter for this book. I probably picked it up at a yard sale or someplace. And, uh, I listed this last year in May, May 15th, or May 20th, 2015, I listed this. So it's been here for a while. I've had a lot of that. A lot of stuff that's been listed for quite a while has been, been selling recently. So, that's uh, that's a good thing. Such a real good thing. But um, I sold it on October nineteenth, and I get I get uh, twenty bucks for shipping for it. So that was sweet. Um, okay, that's just something. Okay, next. And the Express Ready Set Go. Uh, seventy cents I paid for this. Listed this. It's been a while now. Uh, July eighth of this year. And sold it October 19th. Then I got $10 free shipping for just a little uh, cooker grill insert that goes inside the cookers. I like the cookers. I don't use the reese. I got one of those cookers. That really, tell you what, you mix up some eggs, you know, for like you're going to make an omelet or something. And you put them in there. You don't even, could, you know, you just you just put them in. You can put a little, of course, you know, virgin olive oil is good and everything. But you can put a little in there if you want, but you don't have to. But you put that thing in and you close it up and you wait a little bit. You open it up, and the eggs all big and puffed up, and everything. It looks pretty good, and they're really good. They're nice and fluffy. But um, you don't forget the heavy whipping cream when you when you're making. When you got, if you want them fluffy, you got to use heavy whipping cream, um, and it, it works really well. So, all right. Um, but yeah, that cooker works really good. I, you know, I cook on stuff too. Yeah, so I don't, I don't ever try it. I guess you could make heart heart shaped egg thing, but I think that's for something else. So, pastries. All right, next, Shetta. This I had this for a while too. Uh, see there it's three three books in there: pottery barn, bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms. Um, they're real nice. It was a real nice set. I I, I thought it would have sold a lot quicker than it did. Um, I'm not sure why I picked it up, but I paid fifty cents for it. Um, that's probably why I picked it up. But uh, I paid fifty cents. I listed this June seventeenth last year, so it's been up a long time. Sold it on. Uh, October 19th, I got 24 bucks. So, I don't know if that was, I don't think that was an offer. I, it might have been, it must have been an offer. Something, yeah, I got 24 bucks plus shipping, so. Yeah, it must have been an offer. Oops. Okay, next. I actually have this screen from this laptop, and then I have, I have a screen over here with my spreadsheet for what, for my information that I'm telling you. But that's on my other laptop because if I try using the same laptop for both, um, my laptops don't like it. So I keep, but I have two different, two different mouses, mices, two different mice here. So, uh, I have, I keep forgetting to reach over and scroll down for this other one. And it's on, you know what I'm doing. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, 50 cents. Over a year, 24 bucks. Okay, next. And Georgette Hare. I used to sell her books all the time when I was real big into selling books back in the back, you know, a long, a long time ago. And they sold really well. Um, her books always did sell re really well. So I paid a buck for all of them, for the, for the whole, for all of them. And I listed these July 9th this year and sold them on the 20th of October. And I got 16 bucks for the lot with free shipping so the shipping was three bucks or something medium meal so uh yeah i'll price is right on them i'll still pick them up so even though 16 bucks isn't if the price is right you know the price is right so 
Okay, next. And this is that little uh, noter that I showed in, I think I showed it in one of, in my, one, maybe one of my unhaul videos, I think. I don't know, I pulled it out of the garage. Been sitting out in the garage for years and years. Just probably about as long as those, as those auto manuals were sitting out there. It's probably from the same thing. Um, or not, I'm not sure. But <laughs> it, to me, it felt like it was locked up. As, I mean, I couldn't see that, that brass, that brass nut on the end there. I'm assuming that that's what turns the motor. But that's where, you know, the propeller goes in there. It's for an airplane. You know, the propeller goes in there somehow and that's supposed to spin. Well, she's locked up tighter and tighter and tight. As far as I could tell. Now, maybe, maybe it's just, it doesn't look like it was in a wreck or like it was in an accident. Nothing's all bent up or smashed or nothing. And, uh, and it could just be, maybe it's just a bunch of, maybe it's just all crudded up in there and they gotta take it apart. But whatever it was, I listed it. I just did cheap. I think I started it in 1999. And it got 13 bits. So, uh, I, I was amazed because I've not seen 13 bits in quite a while. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just, I didn't, so I basically I didn't pay anything for it. I listed it on, uh, October 14th and sold it on the 21st. And I got, I got 5360 plus shipping. So that was a sweet deal. Okay. Next. And this is the other, the other flashlight of the ones I had sent back from Amazon. And let's see, uh, I paid seven dollars for these each. I listed this on nine on September second. So it was at Amazon for over a year at, at FBI and didn't sell. So I listed this on eBay on September second. Sold it on October twenty first and got twenty three dollars and ninety six cents free shipping. Oh, my nose is bugging me. Sorry. Ugh. Okay, yeah, so it, it sold. Go on, done. Next. That's a little t-shirt I picked up at uh, a yard sale I went to this year. Um, I bought like a, like a, a box of stuff. And it, it looked just, it was a pile of stuff. I think she charged me for everything I bought there. But I don't know, it was cheap. Seven dollars maybe for everything I bought. So, uh, and that was, that had that, those wooden rhinos and that wooden armadillo that I sold that I had in the other thing and other stuff. Those, oh, some Geoba toys and everything. So, uh, these were kind of just thrown in and they were new with tags that, you know, they were, it was a nice little shirt. Um, little legends tie dyed shirt. I guess you can see I can't spell vintage. That, that says something for just putting VTG in there instead of, instead of the whole word. Uh, I don't know if you knew you could do that, but if you just put VTG in, it, the, the search engines will pick it up just like you put the whole word vintage in there. Um, if the customer types in vintage, it'll still come up. So as a keyword, VTG works, at least for now. Um, yeah, so I did get eight ninety nine free shipping for this shirt. Uh, I listed it. See, I paid. I said like fifty cents. I paid. Uh, I bought. I listed it on July twenty third. Sold it on October twenty first. Eight ninety nine free shipping. That was 260, of course, for shipping. So, okay, next. And this one was a little, uh, leather, leather punch. Things are an inch wide. Letter F sold. And what I get for that? Um, it's amazing that they only buy one at a time. It, it surprises me they only buy one at a time. And if I add, now when I first put them up, when I first listed these, I sold, somebody bought five or six of them all together. And then it's been one at a time since then. So, uh, again, this one's a quarter. I listed these back in February on the 21st. Sold this one on October 21st. I got $3.99 plus shipping. So, yeah, I know it's not a lot of money, but. Oh, well. Next. And it's just a, a Mizuna youth baseball glove. And, um,. I was disappointed. I thought it would sell better than it than than it did. I paid two bucks. Listed it on October second. Sold it on October twenty first. And I got twelve dollars for that with free shipping. So I didn't make a whole lot on it. I did. I do think it actually went first class though. That it was actually like just light enough to go first class, but that was still on the pricier end of first class. So I didn't make a lot, but happy uh, kids summer playing baseball. Next, and this is a Texas shot glass. A little pistol on it, 
and uh, I paid a buck for this. I listed it on April 3rd, sold it on July 20 or August 20th, August, October 21st this year, and it sold for $12.95. And it was not free shipping because it went to like Australia or New Zealand or someplace, it went over them over there somewhere. I can't remember exactly which one, I think it went to Australia, which is pretty cool, you know. Um, it went overseas somewhere. I'm not positive where. So, uh, yeah, I shipped it straight too. Um, yeah, and that was that was the the last thing I sold. So all together, I paid fifty seven, just over fifty seven dollars for all this stuff that sold, and I didn't have any returns on the, on any of this stuff. I didn't have any no sales on any of this stuff. So. Uh, my gross sales were 660 almost 664 dollars for the week so that's better than the past couple of weeks uh and i'm actually really happy I'm, i was i was pleasantly pleased with that and the uh just so in and next week's um which is actually longer it's actually you know it's come next week's is going to be the 22nd to the to the end of the month, the end of October. So it's it's longer, but it's almost up there. It's what was it? It was well, yeah. I had something that sold for a good price and then didn't get paid. So it's around it was around seven hundred dollars for next week. So but you'll see that then. So it yeah I picked up a little bit. All right, I guess that's it. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you if it, if you watch this far that you. you um, hit the like button just to let me know. I'm only getting like just a few likes, and I don't know if that's because you all don't like me at all or, or what. But I am over 500 subscribers, so I really am. That's pretty cool. I'm thankful for that. I never really thought there'd be any. Um, so, uh, I don't, I would think that I'm kind of boring. But, um, if you enjoy watching it or whatever, if you get, if you learn anything from it, great. That's cool. Um, And that's really about it. So just keep listening. And um, I'll keep listening and we'll keep making money together. So, all right. Well, you have a good night. Bye.